Hello everyone. Happy Saturday here from Ranger Stop and Pop in Atlanta. We are continuing our guest interview series. Um, and today we have with us Mr. David Fielding. Uh, he played the illustrious Zordon on season one. He's also a voice actor for Empire Earth and Dungeon Siege, Legend of Arana video games. So today we have with us our special guest um, co-host, Nakia, and she's going to get us started here. Ooh, hold on now. <laughs> but first I just say it is a pleasure to meet you. I am very young, so I was not born <laughs> when the season came out, but I was a huge fan of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And I found it so amazing and thought it was so incredible to see a head just floating there. And it, the, like um, holograms of things weren't really a thing just yet. How did it feel or what was it like to be the image of something so large and powerful and scientific, super into the future? Um, well, I mean, at the time, it, it didn't seem like anything that special. I mean, it, it was just something, uh, it was just a job that, that I got. Um, it was very interesting to, to see how they were um, going to create the character because they didn't have uh, motion capture like they do today. So uh, we basically used a process that was called chroma key where they would take a green screen and just be able to rotoscope out whatever they needed for the film. So uh, when I filmed uh, my part for the character, I was just slathered with green latex paint again up against a green screen. So the only thing that was showing up was my head. Uh, and um, I, I think the inspiration from the character, uh, uh, part of it might have come from The Wizard of Oz, where there was just like this big giant head. Um, but when, when you first see the, the series and Zordon makes his appearance, it is rather, uh, uh, it can, you know, take you back to just see like a giant head or whatever. So it was very cool. I agree. It was very cool. Uh, I love that literally we could figure out anything at that time now it's so easy that we don't think twice about the special effects that we see on tv today so you really were a pioneer of the time and we appreciate you for that yeah, yeah. now uh your story or zordon's story is that he used to be a red power ranger is that correct uh well that was what was implied in the 2017 movie uh i know that they've gone sort of like in a different direction with the comic books from boom studios where he was part of a warrior cast for the planet of Eltar. Uh, but I, I do like the idea that at some point Zordon was on the front lines uh, doing some of the same things that the Power Rangers did on Earth. So I think that's very cool. That is very, I get it. Uh, we see it a lot with the Power Rangers, you know, like with the Green Ranger and certain things, they're one person, they become a whole different person. And we have so many different versions of Power Rangers now. I don't even know how many at this point. I swear there was a new Power Ranger series that came out recently. How do you feel about the new iterations and versions and universes and fights that we have for Power Rangers today? It's it's amazing to me that uh, the characters have captured so much of the pop culture zeitgeist and, and the imaginations of other generations uh, rather than the one that was watching it uh, when we were on the show. Uh, the longevity of the show and the characters, I think, uh, touches somebody, you know, uh, it, 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 all, it goes all the way back to like ancient mythology, how those characters, uh, their stories were told over and over and over for generations and generations. And that's sort of what's happening with Power Rangers today. And because they're still making the Sentai series in Japan, there's still going to be a, a slew of stories to be told with the Rangers and the morphing grid. And, uh, you know, it's, it's very exciting to see what they're going to do in the future with it. It is very exciting and obviously very huge. We're here at Ranger Stop right now, an entire con built around the Power Rangers universe. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, I don't see a lot of Sentai specifically things here, but we do all mostly know where Power Rangers came from. Have you ever watched Sentai yourself? Uh, I've watched a few of them. Uh, I, I don't have access to um, some of the original shows. I mean, uh, I'm not a collector myself, so I haven't like bought a lot of the original Sentai DVDs, but I've met the the actors that were on the show uh, that we were a part of, the the Zoo Ranger. I've met those are wonderful people, and um, uh, so it's amazing that something started halfway around the world that was brought to the states and and created a, a new life for it. Uh, it's just amazing how 
much we have in common and, and how much we, we cross over and share stuff amongst one another. So yet another positive thing that the Rangers have done. So I agree. I love Sentai. I think it's so cool. And especially seeing the, the comparisons and relations, it just makes you feel like we really can span across the world with this thing, you know, these suits, these powers, things like that. Uh, speaking of suits and powers, and you have a lot of uh, other work with things like supernatural and scientific robot type things. Uh, what are some of your favorite thing, other things that you've worked on? Um, well, uh, I'm a writer. Uh, I, I have a book series out now called the Lincoln Bright series, which uh, deals with uh, paranormal and supernatural stuff. Um, uh, I've also written a, a superhero novel, so I'm I'm a big Marvel fan. Um, uh, I just learned that they're work, they're possibly working on a Halloween special starring Werewolf by Night, which is like one of my favorite Marvel characters. So, uh, uh, like a lot of the people that attend the conventions, I have my nerdy and geeky side, and and uh, you know I I get very excited about stuff like that. Um, Shang Chi, uh, Legend of the Ten Rings comes out uh, next week, and I'm very excited for that. I'm watching What If on, on Disney Plus, and that's very cool. So, um, uh, just like everybody else, my 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 interest spans, you know, a, a gamut of stuff. But yeah, I love it. I love it. We're also some big nerd fans. Obviously, everyone likes a lot of things. I love to hear that you're a big Marvel fan too. Yeah, yeah. I know we've got some people watching who are really excited about that, yeah. and also excited about your books. So, everybody, I know you heard him. You can go find it. Now, what was the name of it again? Uh, the first novel is called Glimms. The second novel came out this July. It's called Gaunts. And I'm in the middle of editing book three, which is called Gifts. I was just about to ask you what you're getting into next. Aside from writing, what else are you getting into in your future? Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, writing is, uh, it takes up a lot of my time. Uh, so uh, I do take a break every now and then and play video games on my PlayStation. So uh, uh, just like everybody else, you know, I... I do what I do can get by. I mean, we're still stuck at home because of uh, COVID and all that stuff. So uh, just trying to get by like everybody else. It is a great time right now during the pandemic and all the uncertainty and social distancing to get kind of your artwork done and get everything in there. Yeah. It's the best time to work because once everyone gets running around again, more cons, right. you're going to need to get in there and get your Marvel merch. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm so happy that you came to talk with us today. I have one more question for you. Who or what is your favorite Power Ranger character? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna give you a very Zordon answer. Uh, uh, I really can't choose a favorite Ranger. They're all so great. Um, they all have their unique place in in the pantheon of different Rangers. Um, so I, I really don't have a favorite. I mean. Uh, I identify with Billy simply because, uh, like him, I was I wore glasses in school. I was really kind of nerdy. My favorite tr uh, dinosaur was the Triceratops, so uh, I kind of identify with Billy. But uh, I don't have a favorite ranger. Um, my favorite villain is Goldar. I, I I love just the design of him and uh, 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 Doggy Kruger from SPD. I love his suit. The Magnet Defender is very cool looking. Uh, but I, I think all of the Rangers are fantastic and they all have their rightful place. So I really don't have a favorite Ranger. Fantastic answer. I love it. Also, SPD did have some really great, SPD have, did have some really great outfits. I do have to say that. I went back to Power Rangers because of SPD. I had to see it. So one more question. A lot of um, the viewers of our podcast they are fans just who we are, um, but they're also creative. So uh, given your extensive experience in both acting and, and creative pursuits, what are two important like tips that you would have for young aspiring actors looking to break into the field? Um, first of all, the the if if you're doing it because you are compelled to do it, if you can't think of any other way to express yourself, that's uh, something you need to nurture and be protective of. Um, you. Uh, if you go into it because you want to uh, get famous or to get rich, that's really not the best motivation for you. Um, because you're, what, what that's going to lead to is a great amount of disappointment right at the beginning. Um, because there are so many other people that have the same aspiration, the same goal, the same um, 
drive uh, in that area. But um, trying to be in the right place at the right time and and to um, to get to that is difficult. It's it's a it's a long, hard road to get there. Uh, so you have to do it because you love it and because you want to, not because of any of those other things. Those are byproducts, and um, you'll be happy when they when they happen and be grateful when they happen. But that shouldn't be your motivation to do it. Your motivation should be because you can't think of anything else to do. It, it needs to come from uh, the very center of who you are. Uh, and the second thing is um, to ignore the negative stuff that happens. Ignore um, if if you get rejected for a certain role or a certain uh, like if you're writing a, a screenplay or a book or if you're creating visual art or whatever, you're going to have people reject it and say, no, that's not right. Or, or this doesn't work. And, and to take that and say, okay, well, that's fine. And then build on that and just keep doing it step by step. Uh, if you're a writer, you, you have to write, you mm -hmm. have to put the words on the page and, just like any other muscle, uh, it's it's going to get stronger and it's going to go get better every time you use it. So use it every day, work on it every day, and you know, ignore the haters, ign ignore the rejections, uh, learn from them, and you know, use what you can to to build your art. But uh, the main thing is do it because you love it and for no other reason other yeah. than that. So. That's great advice. Thank yeah. you so much for that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we really appreciate you here on the oh, Moana Nui podcast. We wish you the best of luck with your books, the next Thank one you. in the series. Um, and if you'd ever like to come back on the show and talk to our fans about what you're doing, sure. we would love to have you back. Okay, perfect. All righty. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of the All show. Right. Take care. Mighty morphin' when I'm touring, so put me in a poster Tryna take over the planet like Rita Repulsa Gold skin, yellow ranger, ain't no need for comparing So I represent the Trinian like Nakia and Karen Assault machine, the Megazord, the metaphors The set of scores, like taking doors, the mega fours Competitors, they wanna call me Alpha Pride But they can't, cause the fans are box like Alpha 5 Like War Z, I ain't the type to provoke and pull Other MCs, comic relief, like broken soul Carry tradition like it was made from ancient scrolls A kid with attitude like I came from ancient Rule. The dinosaur inside, my spirit you're sure to find It's morphin' time, transforming now, perform a rhyme I doubt that action, so when I get on, I'm a pop And I'ma do my own stunts like Johnny, I'm boss. What? Mighty morphin' when I'm touring, so put me on a poster Tryna take over the planet like Rita Repulsa Gold skin, yellow ranger, ain't no need for comparing So I represent the Trinian like Nakia and Karen Assault machine, the Megazord, the metaphors The set of scores, like taking doors, the mega fours Competitors, they wanna call me Alpha Pride But they can't, cause their fans are box like Alpha 5 Like War Z, I ain't the type to provoke and pull Other MCs, comic relief, like broken soul Carry tradition like it was made from ancient scrolls A kid with attitude like I came from ancient Road. The dinosaur inside, my spirit you're sure to find It's morphin' time, transformer now, perform a rhyme I doubt that action, so when I get on, I'm a pop And I'ma do my own stunts like Johnny, I'm boxed, what?